as we are done with configuring flume agent to consume messages from web server logs and push them into kafka topic now let us explore the uh, necessary logic to consume messages from kafka topic and process data for that we will be using spark streaming apis and if you go to the documentation and search for uh, spark streaming 1.6.3 and kafka example you can go to the documentation and even the spark streaming plus kafka integration is uh, uh, supported with two approaches one is receiver based approach where spark streaming apis will maintain certain information which makes it less reliable and the other one is uh, more reliable direct approach where spark streaming apis a spark doesn't care about any information uh, everything is managed uh, by kafka consumers themselves so the approach of using direct with no receivers brings simplified parallelism efficiency and exactly one semantics onto the table so you can go through this uh, documentation and you can understand a bit more in detail now when it comes to coming up with the logic we need uh, this module so first we need to download this module and place it in appropriate location so in this case i'll be developing the code using uh, uh, command line interface on my lab and uh, the location where i have the libraries are user hdp 2. Dot blah 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 spark lib and then ls hyphen ltr okay it is not here i think it is in uh, this location cd user http 2.5.00 blah 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 kafka lips and hit and type ls ltr and hit enter you can see here spark streaming kafka 2.10.-1.6.2.jar so i have downloaded and i copied to this location you can copy to any location um and then uh, you have to pass with spark submit uh, command that being said as we have this uh, uh, jar file uh, dependency in this location now i can go back to my home directory and uh, go to python demo retail and then copy the existing code which is nothing but spark sorry streaming department account into source main python streaming kafka department account.py and now i can say source main python streaming kafka department account.py and here you can see it is using regular spark streaming apis now we just need to replace this part uh, with the appropriate uh, code snippets which use us kafka based uh, apis um, and then we'll be able to process the data so first and foremost thing as per the documentation if you click on python here you have to add this line from pyspark.streaming.kafka import kafka utils so from pyspark.streaming.kafka import kafka utils okay once you import this host name and port number are not relevant here so i am removing these two variables and we will be passing only one argument to this program hence i am replacing output prefix uh, uh, pointing to sys.argv of 1 so the only argument which will be passed to this program will be output path prefix okay and then we need to create a configuration object the way we have done earlier so there is no change to this except if you want to change the name you can change it here and then we have to create spark context and spark streaming context once you create spark streaming context now you have to create kafka stream so here you can see the code snippet 
direct kafka stream equal to kafka utils dot create direct stream so direct kafka stream equal to kafka utils dot create direct stream and it takes three arguments one is ssc second one is list of topics and third one is uh, broker list okay and here as per the documentation you can see topic is enclosed in square brackets which means we need to pass a list to it and then the third argument is passed in curly braces which means we need to pass a dict as part of the third argument so here i will create topics and we need to pick the topic name which is being used as part of our program so uh, as part of our flume agent so this is our flume agent and uh, the kafka topic is fk demo dg so here i can say fk demo dg you can add more to the list if you want and then i have to define broker list equal to so we need to pass this in curly braces and the mandatory argument or mandatory property which we need to set as part of this uh, dict is metadata dot broker dot list and it is documented here so let us confirm so metadata dot broker dot list and then we can pass the brokers for that we can go to the ambari and log into the ambari then click on uh, kafka go to configs and we we are running kafka on three node uh, cluster so the broker hosts are nn01 nn02 and rm01.itwasty.com and the port number is whatever is defined in the listener which is nothing but 6667 so we need to add that information here so i can say nn01.itwasty.com 6667 nn02.itwasty.com 6667 and then rm01.itwasty.com 6667 this is how you can pass the broker related information one of the property we are setting is metadata broker list if you deep dive you will figure out more properties and we can pass all those things as part of the dict and we can pass it to kafka tools dot create direct stream and now instead of uh, already we created the stream so we cannot use socket text stream anymore so we can delete this then using this direct kafka stream direct kafka stream we can apply the map function again each message from the topic will have both header and body we just need to extract the body and we can process the data further hence we have to say lambda let us give it as msg and then msg of 1 which will give us the body discarding the header and rest of the logic to process the data is same from here we will filter for the records which have or messages which have department in them extract the department name using map function and then use reduce by key to add and now we can save it and come out of it there is no easy way to validate uh, this uh, python scripts until we run it we will see as part of the next topic if we run into any issues at that time we will try to troubleshoot and fix those um otherwise uh, if everything works fine if there is no issues with the code then we are good to go